Just for those, <clears throat> just for those people that said that I'm unable to show my face. Well, here's my face. Anybody, anybody that thinks mental health and depression and breakups and bullshit in life is something to laugh at and to mock and that you're the only one that's going through it. I know I'm not the only one that's going through this stuff. I know it. <clears throat> I've seen other people going through it. I've seen so many people go through this in in life where I've where I've done my utmost to try and help them but people seem to think that I'm not like feeling this like like oh Mark's just getting on with stuff or oh, Mark will be all right or oh, Mark's faking it Mark don't mean it Mark does mean it Mark means every word of it Mark didn't even want to be here yesterday Two people fucking saved my life yesterday because I had had enough, like literally had enough of life to the point where I didn't want to be here anymore. That's when you know it's bad. That is when you know it is bad. So if anybody wants to sit there crying, making out that they're the only ones that are going through shit in life and that Mark's not feeling shit, Mark is feeling shit. I'm on fucking anti bastard fucking depressants through this shit. I've never been on antidepressants before in my life, ever. Ever. But I'm so low and so upset with everything that's going on. And, and, and all I see is like, oh, Mark's faking it. Oh, it's bullshit. He, he's, just, he's just drama queen. And he's this, he's that, he's the other. Do you really want to see me fucking six foot under? Because I tell you something, I honestly believe, I honestly believe that if I was six foot under, you would still fucking destroy me. You would still do your utmost to destroy me. When will you stop? When will you stop? When I'm dead? When I'm dead? Is that what you want? I don't know how anybody dare Fucking slam me. Fucking destroyed me. Absolutely destroyed me. And then all I get is the fucking mind games and the bullshit. I don't need this. I just want to get on with my life and be happy. That's all I ever wanted in the first place. But I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. Two weeks of absolute fucking... Living hell I've had. And nobody knows. People just think, oh, Mark's disappeared off social media. He's going to be all right. Or Mark's just getting on with stuff. Mark's not all right at all. Mark's far from all right. I'm so angry. I'm so upset. And I know I'm not the only person that's upset. There are millions of people around the world that are upset. People have just lost people. People are dying all over the world. I get it. So this is not a sympathy vote. Please vote for Mark Smith. I don't want your sympathy. Your sympathy will not help me. So please don't give me your sympathy. I don't want it. I'm not worthy of it. Okay? All I want is for my voice to be fucking heard. Right? Because all I've had for the last two weeks is everything from death threats to being called everything under the sun. I've been called the most nastiest, lowest names that you can imagine. And I've just had enough of it. Mental health is a very serious condition and I have self-helped myself. I am self-referring myself off my own back, right? Because I want to get this situation sorted out. But what doesn't help is when people are like, Oh, Mark's just faking it. Mark doesn't mean it. Mark's just drama queening. Mark's not drama queening. Far from. 
I was on my knees for three days begging, begging like you would not believe, to no avail. And for two weeks, I've been on my knees. I can't work. I don't want to work. I can't work. You think I can go out and do this? My, my YouTube? Ghost hunting? No. I don't even want to do it anymore. I quit it. I told you that earlier. I've quit it. I've done with the paranormal. I just want to get my health better. Because when it gets as bad as what it got yesterday, that's when you know you need a wake-up call. And I just... I can't even cry anymore. I've cried every fucking tear there is to cry in the universe. And there's no more tears left inside. It's just hurt and anger and frustration and disappointment. I said this earlier, I don't hate nobody and I don't hate nobody. If I hate anybody, I hate myself. But that's what mental health does. Because it's me that's got it in my own head. You know? And all I get off people is, oh, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. This is like... Depression and anxiety. It's like... You can't have... Well, you can have one without the other, but... One sort of like goes around the other and, and you can't get out of it. You, you just can't escape from it. Your own mind, I said this earlier, your own mind is sometimes the worst place you can be. And I am literally in my own mind. I've never been on antidepressants before in my life, ever. All I know and see is mind games everywhere I look. Everywhere I look, I'm getting mind games. Messages sent to me. It doesn't matter what those messages say. What the messages do consist of, let's just say, very mixed messages. Of one minute it's all nicey nicey and the next minute it's all hit 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 and then the next minute it's all nicey nicey and then it's hit 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 and then it's nicey nicey and hit hit hit. I'm, I'm, I don't understand what you're trying to tell me. If you've got something to say, just say it. Rather than messing with my head. Because that's all you're doing. That is all you're doing. Amongst yourselves and amongst each other. You just, I, I honestly can't comprehend with it. And you know what I'm on about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I'm just tired, you guys. And obviously very hurt. And it's not the Mark Smith show for anybody. Oh, you're just talking about yourself. No, I've already said there are many people in the world that are in worse situations than me right now. So this is not a sympathy vote. Don't send your sympathies. Don't send your, oh, I'm thinking of yous. Because none of that helps. None of it. Absolutely none of it. There's only one thing that will help me right now. One thing. And that one thing I can't even get. So... Theoretically, nothing can help me. Nothing. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, you know, apart from just do what I'm trying to do, and that's self-help, and do as much as I can in my power to do what I need to do to get through this situation. 
it just doesn't help when mixed messages are sent. I've, I've been through this many times before. These mind games. They're all logged. They're all saved. Should anybody wish to deny what they've said? Everything's logged and saved. I just don't get it. I'm just tired. And I'm hurt. And I want things to be so different to how they are. And I'm trying my damn hardest to do what I can with what I've got to get through this. I feel embarrassed because I'm on antidepressants. I feel so embarrassed about that. Like I said, I've never been on antidepressants before in my life, ever. Ever. And now I'm on them. It's just like... I guess it's a pride thing or something, you know? I don't know. I've never been in this situation. But what I do know is... Mental health and depression and anxiety... I've had it for three years. So it's not new. What's new... Is admitting it. That's what's new. And I'm going through this process. And through this self help. And trying to get the help and the support. From multiple different authorities. Not just the doctor. Multiple different authorities. Multiple different agencies. Multiple different people. I've got a list as long as my damn arm. Every day the postman comes. There's letters coming through. From all these different agencies that are trying to help me. And trying to get me on their courses and things like that. To help me. Because I've asked for that. I've asked for it. That must say something. You know, I've not been referred to these places. I've asked for this myself. So I know I'm of a sane mind. Because I know what I'm doing. But it's hard when you suffer with depression and anxiety. It is so hard. And I would not wish this on anybody. Anyone. I just want people to know that... I am okay, I'm sat here, I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be, I'm tired right now and I'm a bit fucking stressed out, but I'm safe, or as safe as safe can be, I'm not, you know, I'm not as low as what I were yesterday, but I feel it's so important to put this out, and what I want to put out is, if if anybody... And I mean anybody, it doesn't matter who you are. If anybody wants to talk to me about their concerns, their issues, their problems, please do come to me. Please. Don't be going through other people to come to me. Just come to me. Just come straight to me. And tell me. Instead of all this mixed message bull crap that's going on. And it's happening every single day. And I'm tired of it. Sick and tired of it. I would do anything. And I mean, I would give my last fucking breath. I mean this. On my... I would give my last breath. For this situation to be resolved. But it's going to take time. It's going to take time. Everybody in the fucking ant. Decides to get involved. And just add their two pence with sin. People that. People can't even stand. Decide to come and get involved. People that can't stand each other. Are suddenly. Getting involved. And it's like. This is not about any anybody else. 
None of this is about anybody else. So I know people just fuck off and let the people who are involved sort this stuff out and leave it to the authorities.